Ladies and gentlemen, the Shred Gaming Silicon video, we found out that the GTX 780 Ti is going to be running at 1752 megahertz. That's 7008 megahertz effective GDDR5 memory. And that's going to be 3 gigabytes. Now, this is still running across a 384 bit interface. This means that in theory, we're going to be having slightly more memory bandwidth than the R9290X. Now, the one thing that is still completely and utterly unknown is the exact GPU configuration that we're going to be running. We do know that it's either going to be 2,688 stream processors or 2,880. That is with 224 uh, texture uh, units and 48 ROPs or 240 texture units and 48 ROPs. So in case you're keeping score, this basically means that the Titan could have just a 50 megahertz uh, deficit against the GTX 780, which of course does mean the GTX 780 is going to be, I mean the TI version is going to be the fastest with a lot more memory bandwidth. It's going to have 288 gigabytes per second versus the TI's 336. Now there's a good possibility that what's going to basically happen is that they're going to try and uh, get the other uh, remaining cores enabled because some are disabled uh, due to of course manufacturing process defects and so on so there's a good possibility that maybe the gtx 780s are going to get kind of like the pick of the litter now that's not the only difference from the titan the titan is i suppose you could see like the intermediary it's the bridge between the g-force range and the quadro range now the quadro range are actually primarily used for 3d rendering so for example um if you have like a rendering rig or you're doing a lot of 3d work in other words you're creating stuff uh, say in 3ds max or you're doing a lot of uh, adobe premiere or after effects work that type of thing you'll generally speaking be using a quadro card and they actually have a much better floating point, 64-bit floating point, uh, point performance, I'm sorry. So basically speaking, the SMXs, as I said, one of the SMXs uh, has been disabled from, say, even the Titan. So there's a good possibility they're going to try and re-enable this for the GTX 780 Ti. But each of those SMXs has 192 uh, floating point 32s and 64 floating point 64s and these are for CUDA which obviously are basically the stream processors um, and so there's going to be less of those floating point 64 CUDAs so what basically we're going to be seeing is most likely the GTX 780 Ti is going to be gaming orientated it's going to be designed for titles like Battlefield it's not designed for 3ds Max work so in short if you're kind of I'm doing a mixture of both and you're mostly doing or well, you're doing a lot of 3d graphics work or you're doing a lot of rendering on the GPU the Titan is still probably going to be slightly faster for you now in other news Nvidia have pushed and have said that they're going to do a cut now on the GTX 770 and the 780 prices so obviously they're trying to reshuffle their high-end um, prices to try to basically take some of the wind out of the R9 290's sales because both the 290 and the 290X are of course uh, one's been released one's going to be released pretty damn soon and so NVIDIA definitely wants to take that performance crown away from ATI uh, sorry AMD and they uh, they uh, they look to be pretty successful so far obviously it's still pretty early days yet so I guess we're just gonna have to see what happens and how it plays out anyway Hopefully you've enjoyed the relatively brief video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.